An ESP32 module comes with a lot of different features. One of such features is its touch capability. In fact, it is so well, that you can use the touch functionalities, right out of the box. You just need a piece of metal wire, connected to a touch pin, and you are good to go. No extra hardware is required. Now, there are 10 such touch-enabled GPIOs available on the ESP32 chip, which you can use to make some amazing projects, such as this tiny touch remote. You can use this as a mouse for your PC, a remote for your music system, or even you can integrate this in your home automation systems to control your smart appliances. Let's start with designing the circuit. This is the schematic for this project. It only consists of a few components. Besides ESP32, here we have a micro USB connector, with the USB to serial IC to program the chip. Then we have the 3.3 volt voltage regulator. A battery connector along with the charging circuit, which I will talk about later. This is the PCB layout. Now, Espressive Systems has a comprehensive guideline, on how to design a touch sensor PCB. You can read this documentation to learn more. I will leave a link to this page, in the description of this video. In a previous project, where I showed you, how I made a DIY gamepad, I have used TP4056 charging IC, in combination with DW01A battery protection IC, and FS8205 MOSFET IC, for charging the battery. But that circuit took quite a lot of space. And, to make this project small and compact, I have used HT4928S lithium-ion battery charging IC. Which is commonly found, in those cheap single-cell power bank modules. It only requires one inductor to operate, and can output up to 1 amps of current, at 5 volts. Which is more than enough, for this kind of project. While providing all kinds of battery protections. The charging input is connected directly to the 5 volt USB input, so we can charge the battery, while it's turned off. And as the input and output is connected together, we can even use it, while charging. After designing the PCB, I head over to PCB Bay for manufacturing this PCB, who are also sponsoring this video. Ordering PCBs from PCB Bay is very simple. Go to the instant quote page, to quickly upload your Gerber files. Then set parameters, such as quantities, thickness and color masking, as per your requirement. After that was done, click on save to cart, which will lead you to the checkout page from where you can pay for your order. And if it's your first time using their service, you will get your order for free. So I highly recommend you to check out PCB Bay to get your PCBs made professionally. After a few days, I got the PCBs at my doorstep. And as you can see, it looks quite well. Let's start assembling the board. After assembling, our PCB looks like this. Let's connect the battery to the battery connector, and see if we are able to charge the module. Which it does, as intended. So it works quite well. And as you can see, our battery is charging without a problem. Next I hooked up a micro USB connector, to upload a test sketch. Which will get the touchpad readings. And the program gets uploaded successfully. So, the programming circuit is also working. And if I open up the serial monitor at this point, you will see that we are getting some values. When I touch a pad, the value of the corresponding pin, is also changed. Confirming, that the touch pins are also working just fine. This is the code for the project. Here I have used BLE mouse library, to control mouse movements over Bluetooth. After uploading the code, open Bluetooth settings, and click on add new device. 
From there, select ESP32 Bluetooth mouse, and it will be connected to the module. Now our hardware is ready to perform different tasks. For example I have made this wireless mouse emulator, to make mouse movements, using the touchpads. We can also use it, to communicate with other ESP32 boards, to, for example turn on and off a light bulb, or dim its brightness. Therefore you can do a lot of things with it. Thanks for watching the video. If you find this project interesting, please leave it a like, comment if you have any suggestions, and subscribe to my channel, to get more such amazing projects. See you in the next video.